pathetic little plants. The Mythbusters build team has something to say. I don't like you. I think you look fat in that green, horrible shell. Is this the end of a beautiful friendship or the start of something else? I love you, love you, love you, love you, sweet, adorable pea. Okay, so what are we working on now? Our next myth is talking to plants. Uh. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people out there that think your plants will grow better if you talk to them. What if you hate plants and you're really mean to them? We can try that too. You know what I'd like to try is music. They say classical music makes your plants grow better, but we should mix it up. I'll get some heavy metal and classical and see which one works better. Sounds good to me. Sweet Talking Plants, normally the domain of eccentric old ladies with lots of cats, but anything for science. So we're doing a little experiment. We're getting some plants mm -hmm. and seeing if they respond well if we talk nice or we talk mean to them. Have you ever heard of anything like this working? I think it's an old wives' tale personally. So you don't talk to your plants then? I don't talk to my plants, no. So do you want to actually start from seed or little seed? We'd like to start seed. from scratch. Okay. He might not believe the myth, but he's happy to sell them bush peas and plenty of other stuff besides. Do you have 70 of one kind of pot? I think talking to plants works. I mean, you know, I communicate with my plants in some way, I think, by thinking to them, and I have the best garden on the block. I think the idea of talking to your plants is some foolish, hippie, crystal-gripping nonsense, and it absolutely has no effect on your plants. Armed with pots, fertilizer, and peas to feed an army, the build team moves to phase two. They're going to build seven self-contained greenhouses. A control will have silence. One will have 24-hour heavy metal music. Another classical. Two will be fed sweet talk. And the last two will get abuse. They'll set up on Jamie's roof. Soon enough, a little greenhouse village has grown up, and no amount of huffing and puffing from Jamie will blow it down. Putting all these greenhouses up here on the roof, I think I'm going to get checked out by the uh, by the police for growing pot or something up here, you know? It's like, what are you doing? It looks kind of suspicious. There'll be ten pots per house, one pea per pot. That ain't little nasty thing. Make me sick. Make me shrivel and die. To prevent immediate shriveled death, they've rigged a battery-powered automatic watering system, overhead misters, and drips in the pots. Every day at the same time, each pot gets the exact amount of water. As far as possible, conditions will be identical for all the plants, except, of course, the soundtrack. It's speaking a normal, clear voice. Okay, this next one goes out to my friend Greasy. I hope your roots rot in hell. The only thing you're good for is giving people gas. You suck, freshman! How's that? Beautiful, round, green peas. You nasty little awful green pea that's ruined every burrito I've ever had. Each monologue will be played constantly throughout the experiment. If the build team stayed all that time, the carbon dioxide from their breath might affect the outcome. Dumbass peas. But Tori needs something with a, a little more polish. Do you have hardcore to the bone death metal? Do we ever? Yeah, this is good. I think it's going to work. Cool. Now the classical uh, section. Not, Not a big selection. <laughs> Everything's ready. The greenhouses are built. The peas are in their pots and watered. The CDs are playing. Yeah, my time.
timing is off. It's been a while since I've conducted. This myth now lies in nature's gentle hands. Love you. You suck, suck, suck. Come on, little peas. Push it up. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Our plant diary says it's been 27 days. Ooh, here we are, dead of summer. And we're like halfway there. Yeah. At Greenhouse Central, only the control house has had silence. For the rest, four weeks of constant rotation CDs and cajoling to test if plants grow better if they're talked to. Need to grow real big. We got the state fair coming up in about a month. You guys look like champs. All right. Oh my gosh. Strangely enough, halfway through the experiment, trends are emerging. My sweet words must have an enormous effect on my plants because these plants are growing much better than my nasty plants. This guy here is huge. He's got little arms reaching out, grabbing on. So far, talking nice is actually working, and I, I hate to say it, Scotty might be proving me wrong. Talking nicely to plants, making them grow better. Is Carrie losing her mind? Oh, lovely morning to all you peas. Look at all the nice little peas growing in there. Oh, I love you peas. I'm worried about all of us. They know. They know how I feel. I think we need some psychological evaluation. I'm going to rip you out of your pot and turn you into pulp on the ground. Got it? Clearly, they need some time off this rooftop. They'll leave the watering system to babysit their plants. They're doing pretty well. The plants are doing very well today, Tori. Hi, Tori. What plants do you think are doing better? Hey, guys. Well, I think the heavy metal plants are better because there's so much anger in this world, it really helps to listen to that kind of stuff and you can get it all out. Okay. Oh, I can see what you mean. That classical music really kind of makes the hairs on my neck stand up. Let's get out of the sun. <laughs> yeah.